Hiya folks, little garden haul video for you. I've just been to a couple of garden centres this afternoon. Now I did have a list, I did go with a view to getting some things that were necessary. But I've made myself very happy because I found, well I think pretty much everything that was on the list and a couple of bonus things as well which are pretty good. So I thought I'd just show you what I've got because like I say I'm really really happy with what I've found. First thing was gloves because I'm always losing my gloves. At the first place I went to, they had these types of these Briars gloves and they had three pairs for six quid which is amazing and I've got a pair of these already and now it is one of the sets that I've lost I think they've dropped down back of somewhere in the shed but these are all season ones and they're a bit kind of like flocked inside so they're quite nice and fluffy and they are quite nice and warm and waterproof for these pretty much so i got myself two more pairs of those and then a pink set that's like just a, a regular set really not as heavy duty as these ones so i've brought this set in to use at home and i've left the other two in the car to take up to the plot to promptly lose but yeah three pairs of gloves for six pound and already tried and tested so i know they're good so yeah you can't i mean you can't go wrong can you with having loads of sets of gloves <laughs> leave them everywhere and the next thing was a little tomato plant, a sun gold, because I had four seeds left from last year and none of them have germinated, at least not yet, because I must admit I've checked today and I'd had a bit of trouble with the Abraham Lincoln seeds, which I really want those because that's an absolutely awesome tomato, it's kind of in my top three really. My Abraham Lincolns, they just weren't showing and I'd sowed five double stations so i must admit i'll show you because it's just here on the windowsill yeah i'd sown myself a complete full little pot of them there uh fifth of yeah fifth of april i re-sowed though so no show yet but i think three out of the five positions are showing so there's still chance this is the point i'm making there's still chance that my sun gold may show but in the meantime for one pound forty i bought myself a little plant as well Hello, cat. I've got, we've got interrupting Maya behind me at Gardening Cat. Aren't you? Are you going to say something? Okay. Bless her. Say the microphone. What? Yeah, okay. I thought that's what she was going to say. You could have said that later. You didn't have to say it right now. So, yeah, it's ungulled because these grow really, really quick. They're quite an early one and they are quite prolific. When this grows on a little bit, I can take a side shoot off it, poke it in the soil and propagate that. And because it grows so fast, it's an early one. I'm going to get more plants off that that are viable and they'll actually give me some fruit. I did do this last year, but I did it with the Brad's Atomic Grape, which... I just more did it just to try it because I'd heard that it was possible and yeah it is. Um, there's a lot of people saying you can do it and yes you can but it was the wrong type of tomato to try it with because Brad's is a right late one. Um, but anyway yeah it did work and I did get some fruit off that plant but sun gold yeah I should only need it for £1.40. That's cheaper than buying a pack of 10 seeds because they're about £4.50 now with it being an F1 for 10 seeds. So I'll... Hard work's done, isn't it? I've only got to keep that alive and maybe keep it away from gardening cat chewing on it. Anyway. And then I went to the next garden centre. Now I'll have to put you some pictures up of this because I'm not going to haul it up into the spare bedroom and lift it all up. But on the way into the garden centre, they've got all the composts. And I had said, I'm not buying any compost if I can help it this year, which is true. But in this trolley, they had some bags with a little sign that said £2 a bag because they were ripped open with these bags. And there were six bags in it and there were 40 litre bags so for 12 quid 240 oh dear quick maths is that right yeah i'm right i'm right first time on to <laughs> 240 litres of compost for 12 pound now it wasn't the compost brand that i recognized at all uh, but i thought oh i don't care you know for 12 quid for 240 litres super duper so I went straight into the shop and this, bear in mind this second garden centre, it's like an Ikea kind of thing, you know, they do take you on a bit of a journey and they've got some random stuff in there, they've got stationery, they've got like a cream cake counter, now I do, I do tend to avoid that, I do really, really well, I go straight for plants and I don't, I hold my nose so I can't smell anything delightful or anything like that and I walk straight past cream cakes, so yeah, I went zoop, straight through, fast way to the tills. I think I might have cut in line a little bit as well. Uh, but yeah, dived in and said, showed them a photo that I'd taken so they knew what I were on about. And I said, can I have all of these? There's six bags. And they looked and they went, 
yeah, six bags, yeah, 12 quid. So I paid for them, dashed outside to get them. Give me tickets at fella. You've got to give your tickets at fella to say what you've bought so you can load it into your car. And I just took the trolley that had the little sign on and everything, just trundled it to my car, bunged it all in the car. I think there were only two bags that were kind of, you know, open and sort of missing a little bit out of them, but not much were missing at all. But I do have spare bags in the car for composts and bin bags and that kind of thing. So, yeah, bung, bunged them into a couple of bin bags. Yeah, so six bags of compost that I can now use, which is amazing isn't it fantastic yeah so <laughs> and then i went back in second time around to look for stuff that i'd actually gone for and now this is the thing that wasn't on the list but a chocolate mint oh yeah because i've got my cistern planter anta that we put up on the shed you know that we, i'll link it wherever it's going to show up one of these corners uh yeah i'll put it in descriptions below as well in case you're watching where it don't come up but chocolate mint in my little system planter oh it's lovely it smells like after eight mints oh yeah oh so lovely I can add that to the collection because i'm i've said before i'm not that great at growing mint from seed i don't know if it's the seed or if it's me um but yeah so i bought myself a little plant i think that was not a lot 150 two pound something like that yeah little chocolate mint what else did I get? Oh, right, I'll get to really good bits in a mo, but next thing, little garden essential, um, some sticks, little uh, bamboo flower sticks. I don't know why they have to colour them in green. Um, I'm not bothered if they're natural colour, but £1.30 for 20 of these that are this long. Can't get it all in camera. There we go. However long, what would you say that was? 18 inch, maybe. I don't think it says it on it no and it doesn't matter but yeah them there so you know for little baby tomatoes if they need a bit of staking before i plant them into the greenhouse and get them growing up the strings and the loofers as well because i've got four loofer plants growing um i'm giving a couple of them to a pal up at the allotments but yeah um i had to scratch around and find a couple of little rubbishy sticks and bring them home the other day from allotment so i can maybe swap them out now for a bit of a better one so yeah they're always good aren't they to have on hand I did also buy a big bundle of string as well, just natural jute twine, but I think I left that in my bag downstairs. But anyway, you know what that looks like, don't you? So for when I'm doing the sweet pea structures and however I decide to grow them, I could just sort of wrap a load of this string around because you get through loads, don't you, every year? So I've got some more now on hand. But coming up to the two most important things that were on my list, and I'm so happy that I found them both. I don't know which to show you first. I'll show you the tree because it's a smaller of the two now see if you recognize this from the back now this is one of they had some that were flowering this one isn't um but i like the shape of this better than the other ones i had the choice of i turned the ticket so you couldn't see it do you recognize it does anybody know what this is right funny name well james laughs at this name Amalankia Lamarckii, and you Amalankia, he says, but yeah, Am Amalankia Lamarckii, uh, service berry, is it known as as well? I'm just wondering if it says anything else on front of it. Shad bush, it's given as its other name on here. I think it's got a few names, but this one now it's a very common one. Is this um, very popular sort of tree? But when I were reading up on this, when I wanted some kind of tree i'm going to put in the front garden i did i did think about putting this in the back garden so i've got a patch that gets just a little bit floody if if it's been really bad and it drains well you know as soon as it stops raining but i read that these they can stand in a bit of water and they'll be okay for a while whereas you know some other plants maybe wouldn't so i thought well tick you know if that happens that's great but they've got the flowers that are out now like i say some of them were flowering already that were at the garden center so yeah april may time you get the flowers and then as you go into summer you start getting the berries on them see what it says on its tickets it'll it'll remind me yeah racemes of white flowers followed by purple black fruit and you can eat the fruit now i don't know if it's amazing whether it's worth it or whether it's all right but you know not worth having um but you know the birds might enjoy it 
and then when it gets into the autumn it is deciduous in the end but when it gets into the autumn it goes beautiful beautiful shades of orangey copper red colours and I really wanted something that had some winter interest because it's all well and good isn't it putting your annuals in and that sort of thing and having things looking beautiful while you're out there but you know when you you're indoors, you're depressed because, you know, you can't get out and do so much. I mean, there's always loads to do on allotment, isn't the old building of stuff? But, yeah, when you're inside and you look out and you see lovely, lovely, lovely autumn colour, I thought that'll be gorgeous. But then, you know, when we get a cold snap, they are going to they are gonna drop off because it is deciduous. But, yeah, it's a really, really good, hard-working little shrubby tree, is this. And it's meant to get quite big. It, well, I say quite big. Is about seven metres tall did they get up to? This one is saying three metres. But, oh, hang on, it's saying height and spread ten metres actually on the pot. It's the ticket that says three metres. I'd read maybe about seven metres. So, yeah, it is a substantial tree if you let it grow. I think it's sort of medium, medium sort of speed that it grows. Um, and you often see it where it's been sort of coppiced almost, where it's like a multi-stem type. But you can buy it as a standard as well. And I picked this one because I would either in a lot of them were already sort of looking a bit multi-stem like from the very bottom. This one's got one little one coming off the side. I'll show you. It's got one little one here just coming off the side there. But I thought, well, I wonder if I can actually grow this as more of a standard because it was quite clean all the way up. There were one that had been chopped off and it was proper coming out at an angle was this the second sort of leader, whatever you want to call it. And I thought, well, that... I might be able to make it a standard because the corner that I've allotted for it in the front garden it's quite a small little corner and I do want to be able to get into the underneath of it and work and sort of get some bulbs in or you know do something like that and if it's not a multi multi-stemmed one from the base I'll be able to just get around it a bit easier lift the canopy up so I've still got some light below so yeah well, I mean I don't know how it'll turn out in the end but I thought this one in particular gave me, you know, a couple of opportunities really. Yeah, so Amalankia Lamarckii. Yeah, fantastic. I've wanted to get one of these. Probably about 18 months. I started looking at trees to get for the front garden and the back garden. But yeah, I've been kind of coveting this for probably 18 months or so. Whilst I was trying to pick out what sort of shrubs and trees I wanted to put in the front garden and the back garden, I had shortlisted this. And yeah, it's just going to it's gonna work really, really hard. And uh, I'm really, really pleased. Really, It's just a shame I couldn't get a bigger one because I'd looked online and you can buy some, you know, sort of six foot tall specimens, but you might be paying a couple of hundred pound for that. And things, if you're ordering stuff online and they're a ways away, you could be paying a lot. As well, if it's got to come on a truck or something, you could pay, be paying a lot for the carriage and you don't really know what's going to turn up. Whereas I've picked this one myself. They had about, I don't know, seven or eight of them and I've picked this one out. So I'll just have to be patient, but I'm glad it's here. Really pleased with that. Right, let's check out the, the last one. So for front, front garden as well, because I've got my black fence going across the front of it. Oh, gorillas in the mist. Hello. Right, so this one, a cornice, a dogwood. And this one, now this has got a really funny name. I want to say Flaviramia. Flava, Flavaramia, I don't know. <laughs> Flaviramia. I don't know, there's many ways you could say that. I'll put it up on the screen though, the name. Um... But yeah, I mean, they had, the first shop I went to had one of these and it were a bit bigger than this and it was £15. And I put the picture up on screen because I took a photo of it because I thought I want to remember that this is here and how much it offer if I find another one like I did. And they had a bigger one of this and it was £25. Um, but to say this one, this were £8. Cause, I mean, they labelled up £16.50% off, you know, to make it feel like it's a bargain, which... You know, we're not we're not daft, are we? We know we know it's right price eight quid really, but I thought this were the more reasonable out of the two of them. I still may take a trip back and get that other one though. I might, cause I, I want a few of these all across the back, cause I think in winter when this has got its limey limey green stems out, 
and you know there's nothing else much going on against that black backdrop this is going to really pop and it's almost going to look like it's illuminated i think so yeah with these corners you keep them fresh and you keep the color vibrant by chopping them back quite harsh after winter let all the new growth get stimulated and start coming up from the bottom of it and all that lovely fresh growth has got the best color with it so yeah you do have to be a bit brave and give them a chop i mean i'm going to put this in and let it establish all this year and i'll do it next year because the color's beautiful as now it's really gonna have some impact is that but when i put it in if i want another one i might go and treat myself to that other one as well because i do i just want some instant impact i mean i've looked at that boring front garden been neglected for so long i'm going to give it some love now and get some good plants in and this has got this has got some little buds coming already now i don't know what the flower what the uh, yeah i don't know what the flowers look like i must say so i have to google that and have a look but i wanted it for the stems for the winter you know the winter effect again so yeah look at that i can see it on the camera and yeah it's lovely lovely lime green really really punchy color so yes that's what i've gone and got some really really nice things useful things things on the list smart things you know just with me one little lowly sun gold instead of buying a whole packet of seeds and having to do all the hard work um yeah and i'm thrilled with these my heart is fulleth today with my plants um yeah and i'm gonna get these out as soon as maybe not today because it's like tea time now but yeah i'm gonna get these planted out quick sticks I've got all my beautiful seeds that I've sown from Premier Seeds that I did in that last video. Link wherever, somewhere up there for you and link in the description. If you didn't see that, have a little look because towards the end of the video I did a little seed haul. But anyway, watch the first bit too because it's got a really, really good seed starting compost like recipe for you as well. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful dogwood. So thank you for watching. Um, I'll have to put you a picture up, won't I, when I've planted these out and show you, you know, get a bit of an effect of it. Or I might even wait until, hello interrupting Maya, I might even wait until the um, the seeds are up as well. You know, and we've got some cat's tails in his face and some lovely colour in the front garden. <laughs> if you've got cats, you know, you know, don't you? Yes, cat! You want your tea, don't you, buddy? Don't put your bum in camera, turn around. So from me and Maya, the interrupting gardening cat, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!